What is going on everybody? Today we are reviewing the WWE Elite Greatest Hit Series of AJ Styles, Rey Mysterio, Hulk Hogan, and Randy Orton. Now this was a set that kind of dropped out of nowhere. You know, we saw it on the Collector's Insider teasers or the leaks that came out. We didn't know what the hell the gear was going to be and then they just kind of dropped it on us. Out of nowhere, they did significantly decrease the size of the waves. We saw a six-figure wave, I think. Then we saw an eight-figure wave. I think it dwindled down to seven with Bray Wyatt getting etched into Elite 112. Now we're back with the Greatest Hit set of just four. Kind of reminds me of a top pick set, but the greatest hits wave is kind of one of those controversial waves. Between this, the From the Vault, the Top Talents, the Monday Night Wars, Best Of, This, That, and the Other Brad, a lot of shish getting re-released, but today we have some great figures here, and I'm actually quite pumped for all four of these figures, well maybe three of these figures, but let's take a look at them, man. We do have AJ Styles here, and this AJ Styles is magnificent. I don't know if you guys know the lore, if you don't know the lore, AJ Styles used to have the worst formula of all time, and then I made a post saying that they needed to change it to the Sin Cara Torso, and in Elite Series 104, they did change the torso to the Sin Cara torso, and now they're re-releasing the Elite 74 AJ Styles. Here, this is the Elite 74 redone, and they put the correct formula. So, we are on a historic run right now for AJ Styles, but just some basic bland packaging. Nothing too immaculate or great. 2019 Royal Rumble. Is that accurate? I don't even remember, but that is the first figure. We also have Rey Mysterio, and this is going to be his WrestleMania 35 gear, where he took on Samoan Joseph. I'm going to back this up a little bit here, but this is a figure that came in a two-pack that, I swear to God, only like four people obtained it. I, I, I don't even know where that hit. I want to say it was Walmart or something, and maybe hit some, I think it hit ringside as well, but the WrestleMania 35 two-pack of a matchup that was legitimately like, I don't know, I, it may not even been, it was like 60 seconds maybe. It may have been less, I can't remember, but Rey Mysterio got absolutely smashed by Samoan Joseph, and he did this whole sick Mysterio theme gear just to get absolutely dominated, so you do have that, but the last two figures in the set is going to be Hulk Hogan here, which this figure is going to fly off shelves. It is a run of the mill Hulk Hogan. Nothing too crazy going on with it. Something that we've seen multiple times, but men on card, you're getting the WWF Championship. You're getting the crazed eyes. This is a good solid Hulk Hogan for any Hulk Hogan figure collector. Nice leg drop there. He is looking pretty good. And last but not least, we do have Randall Keith here, and it's insane because uh, uh, we'll get into the lore. We'll get into the lore, but they repainted this figure. This is supposed to be the Elite 90 Randy Orton, which is one of my favorite Ortons of all time, which originally was in white gear, and then they repainted it here in black and silver, but that even ties deeper into the lore, because if you go back to AJ Styles, I remember at WrestleMania 39, when they showcased the Greatest Hits cash-in Seth Rollins from the Toys R Us exclusive, they showed that figure, and we were disappointed with it, and I asked them, I said, so why didn't you update the formula to the new Seth Rollins formula, since this is a re-release of a previously old Seth Rollins? We've already had an update here. Why didn't you update that figure and make it in a modern way? And they said that it's just a re-release of the original figure, and that they couldn't do a new formula, but that would be a lot Brad, because here's AJ Styles with a completely different formula, and there's Randy Orton with a completely different set of paint apps, so I think I was duped, Brad. I think I got duped, but if you guys want to grab these, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, but with that being said, let's shut the hell up. Let's crack all four out of the packaging, find out what the greatest hits are all about in this set, and see if they're indeed worth a damn. So here's all four figures out of the packaging. I am enjoying the hell out of some of this stuff, man. There's some really good stuff going on here. We're going to, of course, dive into every single bit of the stuff that we have going on here. But well, let's just go left to right. We'll start with AJ Styles and we'll work our way all the way across. Now, you guys know with AJ Styles, they tend to give him... I mean, back in the day, at least in Elite 74, they did give him his entrance vest here. There's no logos on the back. I don't think that would be accurate. I imagine he would have the P1 logo on there in either white or green or something. But it is a throwback figure, so you're getting that rubber vest in there. Good details, but certainly uh, I, I don't know. I, I definitely wouldn't put it over this rubber shirt, but it is the, there can only be one AJ Styles. You got the lime green in there, whatever the hell you want to say. But it is this rubberized stuff. We're going to take this off, because we get it, get it, just I, I don't care about the rubber accessories, man. But you do get that. If you're if you're excited for that, man, well, go get mental help, but you do get the rubber shirt in there if you are so inclined, if you're excited for it. Now, as you can see, he does have the Sin Car Torso. Look how beautiful this formula is, man. This is phenomenal in every sense of the word, and I like the height of it. He may struggle on his neck a little bit here, but the head sculpt looks really good. I love this formula. Jesus, we begged for this. I would like to see stomach and chest hair, but you do get the arm bent over here, double jointed arms. He has these beefier thighs, and I want to say they're on ball joints, man. I think they're on ball joints. I look at that kick forward right there, and it is pinless. It is a little tight, but holy crap, man. This Is this the best AJ Styles ever? And you know, when you compare it to the Elite 104, this actually has a newer formula. The thighs on this figure are big 
bigger than the Elite 104 thigh. So that's definitely something you want to take note of. But he also comes with his lime green gloves here. You're going to notice, you know, with double jointed arms, you can kind of make that pose easier. Look at that. You can make the P1 right there, but he's got the wristbands in there. P1 on the elbow pad as well. And then on the tights, I like these tights. He's got the lime green or the volt green with the AJ. Very clean deco as well with the black and white. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And I like the open knee pads. This is a just simply amazing AJ Styles. He's got the black kick pads in there. I just love this. They really did a fantastic job on this, man. But now, like I said with that cash-in Seth Rollins Greatest Hits figure, you're going to tell me they couldn't have done this same thing, upgrade the formula and redo it? I don't know. But he also comes with gloved hands here, which look good in the sculpt. And it has the AJ logos on there if you want to put his mic holding hands in there, as well as the entrance hands. Now, my Elite 74 is stained to hell. It's got this... I got this hoodie off eBay or something, but you'll see. Look at the leg size. Much bigger legs. These are Daniel Bryan legs. These look way better and more accurate. And look at that torso, man. Way more accurate for AJ Styles. Look at that beastly man right there. Better head sculpt as well. This figure blows this one out of the entire yard, but you'll see how bad the staining is. That's why I just keep this hoodie on there because he's kind of, you know, he's kind of screwed now. So he just leave it on there and he, you know, we just kind of live with it. But this AJ is amazing. I really love this AJ Styles. They did a great job, but this is the original Elite 74. So I would absolutely pick up the Greatest Hits version. This is much better. Now, for the Rey Mysterio figure, this is a very good figure, and he does come with a cape. Now, his first version did come with a cape, but this cape is one big hunk of rubber. I mean, you're getting some cool logos here. On the collars, you're getting these Rey Mysterio logos, and it's got the little tab, and it does have this scales and stuff, you know, sculpted in there in purple and stuff. It's a cool thing, you know, if you're just going to have it on there, but I would go on eBay and buy a cloth goods Mysterio cape and try to replace it, even if it's not going to be the most accurate or completely accurate, but really good head sculpt on here. I think the mohawk looks good. The paint and everything looks really good. I like this torso. He does have the double jointed arms in there. All the gauntlet. I mean, this is one of the most toyetic Rey Mysterios that Mattel's ever made, and they're giving it to us again. So I think they just nailed it. I, I think it looks so damn good. You do have the belly button under there, which isn't the biggest deal, but you're getting all that scales and all the different deco going on on this figure. Got the bicep bands in there. I mean, they just did such a good job on these. I love the gauntlets and the attention to detail here. Got the designs down the side and the gold boots. And you guys know as well as I do that Rey Mysterio's figures just pose around so well. They, they just do. They feel amazing in hand. He's got the butterfly joints. Not the butterfly joints, you clown. He's got ball joints, and he does have pins in the legs, so he's going to be able to pose around well, and he's going to pose around better than the original of this figure, because the original of this figure only had single jointed arms, and as well as single jointed arms, he comes with the Rey Mysterio open glove, you know, reaching out SmackDown intro style hands, and then he also comes with a pair of gold gloves to beat the hell out of people, which is kind of a boxing reference, but also, you know, baseball. You make a play in the outfield, but he can beat the hell out of people with these fisted hands. God, can we get Mike holding hands one day? I know it, this isn't the figure it should have came with, but Mike holding hands for Rey Mysterio. That also reminds me I haven't reviewed the Fan Takeover Ultimate Rey Mysterio. I'm so behind on reviews. But here's our comparison with the OG and the re-release. This is the OG on your right, and this is the re-release on the left. And I'm not seeing any major differences. A little bit of paint app difference on the head sculpt, and then the rest of it is pretty much a one-of-one -one copy. I'm not seeing anything else that's really different about the two figures. They're both amazing, and I'm glad that, you know, they re-released this figure because a lot of people didn't have an opportunity to originally get this Rey Mysterio. So with our Hulk Hogan, you don't get a lot, man. You get the WWF Champion. I say you don't get a lot. Well, it, you don't get a lot in terms of other Hulk Hogans, you know what I mean? You do get the WWF Championship, which does look really good. This championship looks great. I do wish they'd thin the plates out. They really need to focus on doing that in the future, redesigning the belts a little bit, you know, getting some different things in there to fix the championships because we've had these molds for so long. I think it's time for some new stuff, but I do include... I do love a good WWF championship. Now, for his interchangeable hands, he is going to come with the newly sculpted Ricochet Kawhi Leonard hand-shaking entrance, pump-up-the-crowd-can-you-hear-me style hands. And then he also comes with Mike holding hands in the skin tone there to Mike hold and beat the hell out of people too. And then out of the packaging, he also comes with the fisted hands, of course, which are, uh, you know, weapons of mass destruction. He can beat the hell out of you with those. But really, this isn't even a figure that was a greatest hit. It is a combination of a bunch of different figures. We have seen the yellow trunks with with the red knee pads and the yellow boots multiple times over. We have seen the Hulk Rule shirt. I'm pretty sure we've seen the Hulk Rule shirt on the Survivor Series. That's what I'm calling this. I'm calling this the Survivor Series Elite, just re-released, but with a different head sculpt. I think this head sculpt came on either the Ultimate or the Zeus and Rip 2-pack, which is a good Hogan head sculpt. It just didn't originally come on this figure. So another instance of them kind of moshing a figure together and re-releasing it. But you do get the Hulk Rule shirt here that can rip in half. It does have the tears on the back, which is also nice. And he comes with a Hulkamania bandana. But, you know, it's a run-of-the-mill Hulk Hogan 
but his his figures are great, man. They really are. I mean, I don't really... You can't really fight him on it because all of his figures are so damn good for the most part. So for your very similar Hogan figure comparison, we do have the new Greatest Hits figure. You have the Survivor Series Elite. I think this is the Elite 96 or... Yeah, I think this is the Elite 96 with a head swap with the Mega Powers 2-pack head sculpt. And then this is the American Made, then now forever 60th anniversary Hulk Hogan. And all of these are pretty much the same. You're getting a different head sculpt, you're getting a different shirt, but they are pretty much the exact same figure, which again, it does come with a title. It's a good men on card figure. It's a good head sculpt. So this figure is absolutely going to sell. It's just, you don't have a lot of new going on with it. It is kind of just a run of the mill Hogan, but at least it is a damn good Hogan with all things considered. And then the last figure in this set is going to be Randy Orton, which is Elite 90 re-release like we talked about. And that figure did originally come with a steel chair. So we do get the black steel chair, which we've seen multiple times. It feels tight. It's not loose or anything. You can beat the hell out of people with it. And then he also comes with the x-ray goggles or the night vision goggles. And I have so many of these because I've owned so many of the Elite 90 Orton. But you can slide this onto the head sculpt if you want to. Even if it didn't originally come on, you know, it came in on the Elite 90, which this isn't. But it looks good on there if you wanted to do that or have some fun creativity with that. could make that happen. But the goggles do fit the figure very nicely. And then for interchangeable hands, you do get the mic holding hands with the black hand tape. And it wouldn't be Randy Orton without his entrance style hands. or RK I mean, they're kind of like RKO grabbing hands too. So they work as a two-in-one. You can do the entrance pose or you can RKO people, which is great. Now, getting into the head sculpt, this is the Elite 90 head sculpt, just repainted. It doesn't have a beard on there, which I think came on a top picks figure in that orangish yellow and black gear that we got for Randy Orton. But all of his tattoos always look so good on his figures. I love that they added it to the torso, which is great. And you could probably hand swap this or do some different things and make a 2013 version of Randy Orton when he was rocking this if you wanted to. But the black and silver looks good. Has Orton on the back. All the tattoos look really good. And then he does have the open knee pads that have RKO on there. You'd have to replace these, but not the biggest deal. Just a complete repaint of that figure, but no knee tape on this figure in comparison to the Elite 90. So for your figure comparisons for the Greatest Hits Orton, you will see that we do have the OG over here in white with the black knee tape, and it's just a change in deco pretty much for the most part. But as a massive Randy Orton fan, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, I'm all for any Randy Orton they want to give us. So I don't have, you know, I when they showed this figure off, it, like I was like, okay, that's not really a Greatest Hit because this figure has never existed before. But at the same time, it kind of looked like a Top Talents, but I know that first Top Talents Randy Orton would show form to like hell and then even though it's a damn good figure but any you know new Ortons or added Ortons to the line I'm gonna be a sucker for because I, I like Randy Orton a lot so there's that but I you know it is what it is I would still prefer this one over this one but this is still a good change of pace you got the black and silver in there we've never seen that from Randy Orton we've seen black and gray but never this shiny silver that we're seeing here anyways it's time to rank this set from worst to best in my own personal opinion so the criteria always stands as you guys know if you don't know excitement level for the figure execution of the figure feel in hand all the different different things that we talk about with criteria stands here, but let's get into the last figure in this set for me, rankings wise, and that is going to be the Hulk Hogan. Just not not excited with it. Again, you, you saw the comparisons. We've seen it so many times before, and I know that kind of varies person to person, but again, this is why it's my list and not your list. You know, you may have a different set of criteria. Maybe you really wanted this Hogan in this exact look with the title and everything, so that'd be you, but that is not for me, Brad. I would have him at the bottom there. Coming in at number three, as fantastic as the figure is, I'm going to go with the Mysterio Ray Mysterio. It wasn't one of those figures that I necessarily wanted all that much, but you know, I'm, I'm glad to have it. I'm glad that we have the double jointed arms and stuff, and it is a good addition to the Greatest Hits line, but I would put him at number three in terms of excitement level for it. I already owned it. I didn't really need another one right here, so I do that. And then at number two, we do have Randy Orton. I know it's a simple repaint. There's not a lot going on there, but as a big Randy Orton guy, I think it's amazing. I love it. I think it's so good. I'm so glad they included that, but coming into the number one spot, not even close really, I would have the Elite 74 redo of the greatest hits, AJ Styles right there. So that would be my ranking. I'd have AJ Styles at the front. You just can't beat this new formula. I think it's a perfection formula. Outside of some stomach and chest hair, this figure right here is so good. So, so good. Perfect formula. Great posability. Very accurate. Love the head sculpt. Love everything going on about it. I am just so happy with the figure. So happy and just so nice to have that AJ Styles included in our figure collections, man. But at the end of the day, you know, if you already have this Rey Mysterio, you really need this edition? I, I don't know. You know, I don't, I'm not entirely sure. You will have to decide if the single jointed arm to double jointed arm upgrade will be up to you because the rest of the figure is the exact same. Hulk Hogan completely skippable because we've seen so many but if you're a big Hulk Hogan guy you want that championship you want this specific look you want all those things then maybe you do want to do that. Maybe you can't make this fix up in your collection then maybe you want this head sculpt to add into your Hulk Hogan's there. Randy Orton skippable but I like it a lot. I think it's a good modern rendition of Randy Orton. If you wanted to use it as your modern Orton or you want to add another one to the shelf but if you guys are AJ Styles fans you must grab this 
greatest hits because it's an accurate representation of AJ Styles, unlike many, many releases coming before it. This one is so good, and I'm glad that they did that. Uh, just just great, man. Which That's what the greatest hits is all about, man. It's, it's either for you or it's not. And I guess you could say that about any figure, but I think that they do a good job of understanding, you know, you don't have to grab these figures, but if you want to upgrade this or, you know, maybe you missed out on that, this is the time to grab it. So, you know, the greatest hits line, pretty genius. Pretty genius, I think. All things considered, it is, it's a damn good idea, and they, that's why they keep re doing these re-release waves, man. It makes the most sense, but nonetheless, that is pretty much going to wrap up our review of the Greatest Hits Series 3. Is it Series 3? It may even be Series 4. I can't remember off the top of the dome with all the damn re-release waves we have nowadays, but that is pretty much going to wrap it up, man. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys want to grab these, use code MDTOYS over at Ringside Collectibles. I greatly appreciate it. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my damn toys. I greatly appreciate that as well. And a huge shout-out to our Patreon members, man. Appreciate all those fellas, man. Thank you guys so very much for your support, as always. And we are gearing up for Comic-Con coming up next week. I can't even believe it. I'm beside myself. We will be there covering everything in person, and it should be a fun time, man. But that is going to wrap the video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know your thoughts down below. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I will catch you guys later.